I'm overlooking the Kidron Valley, located on the eastern edge of Jerusalem's old city, with the Temple Mount up there and the Mount of Olives over there. Let's go take a closer look. The Kidron Valley itself has been the site of many important events in biblical history. In the Old Testament, King David crossed the Kidron Valley to escape his wicked son, Absalom. The Mount of Olives is a small mountain on the east side of the Kidron Valley outside the old city walls of Jerusalem. It is named for the many ancient olive groves that once covered the valley and still grow in some areas around here. Today, an entire part of the Mount of Olives looks dusty gray because that area is covered by thousands of tombs and graves. On the lower north side of the Mount of Olives is the Garden of Gethsemane. In the New Testament, Jesus traveled from Jerusalem to Bethany through the Kidron Valley to visit Lazarus and raise him from the dead. He also rode the foal of a donkey up the Kidron Valley from the Mount of Olives through the Golden Gate, which you can see behind me during his triumphal entry. A few days later, after the Last Supper with his disciples in Jerusalem, Jesus left the city, crossed back over the Kidron Valley, and came over here to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. It was here that Jesus was arrested the night of his betrayal by Judas. As I walk through Gethsemane today, Gethsemane, a word which means olive press in Hebrew, it's remarkable to see these ancient olive trees. Some say that this entire portion of the olive grove dates back to the time of Christ. But look at those gnarly tree trunks. Others say it's unlikely and that all the trees of the Mount of Olives would have been destroyed with the rest of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Olive trees get large, gnarled, and twisted as they age, and many in the Garden of Gethsemane certainly fit that description. Though rare, olive trees older than 2,000 and perhaps even as old as 3,000 years have been documented in the Mediterranean and Middle East regions. The Garden of Gethsemane, located here at the foot of the Mount of Olives, is now protected by the walled grounds of the Church of All Nations, also known as the Church of the Agony. It's a peaceful garden among a grove of ancient olive trees looking back at the eastern wall of Jerusalem's old city. It's thought that this is the location that Jesus prayed the night of his arrest and betrayal. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit here while I go over there to pray. Matthew 26, 36. According to the account that we have in Luke, Christ experienced extreme distress and despair here at Gethsemane. The events of his torture and crucifixion would soon unfold, and the wrath of God the Father would soon be poured out on Christ on the cross for the sins of the world. His sorrow was so great that Scripture tells us that his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. And he even asked his father that if there was any other way to let this cup pass from him. For millions of Christians around the world, Christ's acceptance of his father's plan of salvation here at Gethsemane is the most moving display of sacrificial love in human history. Jesus was betrayed by Judas and arrested here in the Garden of Gethsemane. It was here that Peter tried to defend Jesus with a sword by cutting off the ear of an arresting servant of the high priest. Jesus said, no more of this. He then touched his ear and it was healed. As recorded in Luke 22:52, Jesus then said this to the chief priests, temple guard and elders who had come for him. Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour, when darkness reigns. 
Then Jesus was seized and taken to Caiaphas, the high priest, at the place where the scribes and elders had assembled.